Hi, welcome to session number two of absence management lab sessions. This is session number two of series of six different sessions for absence management lab. So we will be now setting up shifts, patterns and work schedules for absence management configuration. So in order to start with, we need to log in as implementation user. Currently I have logged in as HCMI MPL, which is one of the implementation users. Once we log in to the system, navigate through settings and actions, click on setup and maintenance, access this task, click on search, type in work shifts. This is the task to create shifts, click on the same. Once we are in here, we have multiple options. One of the option is search. Once we create the shift, so we can search with the name and description. In order to create the shift for the first time, we need to access this plus icon and then try to create the shift. So here we are going to create a lab shift. So click on create a lab shift. Give it a name. We are going to create a shift A to F, Abstract Fusion underscore regular shift. And then we are going to fill in the description. And in the duration, enter eight hours. Select the hours from the drop down. So this shift is basically a regular shift and we are going to go set this up for eight hours. Click on save and close. This completes creation of shifts. The next part is creation of patterns. So in order to create patterns, we need to access a task called work workday patterns. Search for the same. Click on the task. This screen is where we can create work day patterns. We have search option. Once we create it, we can search with the name. If you are creating work day patterns for the first time, then as the same way, click on this plus button and we can create work day patterns. For this lab session, we are going to create a elapsed work day pattern. Click on it, enter a name. Apps diffusion, regular pattern. Give it a description. And then we need to configure length in days. Usually we configure a pattern for a week, so we will be filling in seven as length in days. And then under the work tip pattern details, click on plus, mention when is your week starting, and also when is your week ending, and what shift. You want this pattern to apply for right so we have seven days in a week if my requirement is that i need to start on monday end on friday then i'll be entering one and five so now my pattern is done but i also associate a shift for this pattern so we need to click on shift select the shift that we created in the previous step so what this means is we are creating a pattern from Monday to Friday and Monday to Friday we have to work eight hours per day. As we have mapped the shift. Click on save and close. This completes creation of workday patterns. The that step for it is creating work schedules. Search for the task work schedules. Click on the task name work schedule. And you can search if you have already created work schedules. So we can search with the name and different other parameters, which we list here. If we are creating the work schedules for the first time, click on create, give it a name for the work schedule. I'm going to give the name apps diffusion underscore regular schedule, and then the type. We are going to create elapsed work schedule. So we need to select that and effective from date and effective to date. These are very important. As we have mentioned, that our week is from Monday to Friday. We need to select a date which starts on Monday here. End date could be any number of years, max 10, 20, 30, depending upon the requirements. We can select the end date. So I'm going to go select this for a year. So I'm going to select until 2025. 
and the next step is mapping the patterns that we created in the previous step. Click on plus button, give a sequence name and select the pattern which we created in a previous step. So now that the filled in information is complete, so we can click on submit. This completes session number two, creating shift patterns and work schedules. Thanks for watching.